In traditional finance, over 8 trillion US dollars is invested in index funds. But we haven't seen that same adoption of passive investing and a basket of goods take place in crypto markets yet. Enter SET Protocol, which is a DeFi protocol for building index funds. A user can buy a single token and gain exposure to a variety of digital assets. One popular fund on SET Protocol, for example, is the DeFi Pulse Index. By buying the DeFi Pulse Index, you gain exposure to a list of governance tokens which are listed on the DeFi Pulse website. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up an index fund on SET Protocol to give the platform a run through and see how it works. So if we go to tokensets.com, we can see we've got options to explore this on Ethereum or on Polygon. To deploy a set on Ethereum, it's going to cost two to three thousand dollars. So I'm going to be, for this example, I'm going to be using a Polygon network where it costs just a few cents. So let's go ahead and create a set. Just so you know, if you haven't got Polygon set up in MetaMask already, you can add the network using Chainlist. And I use a service called MoonPay to buy some Matic tokens to pay for the transaction fees. Matic is used on the Polygon network in the same way that Ether is used on Ethereum to pay for transaction fees for deploying contracts and interacting with contracts. So let's get started and create a set. So a token set in this example is what we think of as an index fund. It's a set of digital assets. So I'm going to start by adding wrapped Ethereum. I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to use REN BTC. We can use, only use ERC20 tokens, so we can use tokens that are swapped on the like SushiSwap or Uniswap and uh, automated market makers like that. For that reason, I can't use the native assets. I have to use the wrapped ERC20 versions. I'm also going to add USDC. And I'm going to have a 60-40 portfolio, which I've spoken about before in other videos. Let's lock that at 40 and then adjust these two to 30 each. Lock all those and continue. I'm going to call this the Bacini 60-40 portfolio. Give it the batch symbols and then the starting price. I'm going to start this at one US dollar. I've read the terms. Let's sign in with MetaMask. I'm already connected to the Polygon network here. That's logged me out, so let's go back and create this set. So we've got the Machini 64 portfolio. We've got 30% WEF, 30% REM BTC, and 40% US dollar stablecoin, USDC. So let's publish that. Notice the transaction fee is very low on Matic, which is lovely. The reason transaction fees are so high on Ethereum and also Matic in comparison to other Matic transactions is because they've got deploy contracts within this. So this is actually as a factory contract where it goes out and it deploys other things in the background. Let's uh, view that transaction, a new tab, and also view your set. It's not ideal. And there we go. So we've got a si we've created our 60 portfolio set. Let's issue some tokens. We need to enable these modules within the management system, which adds essential functionality which we need to issue new tokens within our set. It's got issuance. Let's enable fees. So let's do 2%. It's just a standard fee here. You can't have a performance-based fee, so you can do like two and 20. It's just a single, what they call a streaming fee. It's been initialized. Let's have a look at the trade. Let's have this module as well. Okay, let's go into the issuance now which was the first module we initialized. Let's approve all. So this is going to go through and approve spending on all of these tokens from our wallet address. I 
I now need to go out and buy some of these tokens. Let's go to Sushi Swap. Let's do five Matic of each asset. So that's just over eight US dollars. So the total amount of assets I've purchased can be around 25 US. Let's refresh our balances and we can distribute, we can, so we can issue 20 shares in the Bacini 6040 portfolio. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is gonna remove all the tokens from our wallet into the contract. Okay, now let's copy our contract address from the top here. And let's try adding some liquidity. So let's go for token, import. Let's approve the spend of these tokens on SushiSwap. Now that's gone through, we can add liquidity for this back WEF pair. So the back token is what I've just created. It's an index fund of them digital assets. And WEF is just a pair that other people can third parties and myself can buy that token on exchange using wrapped Ethereum. And there we go, we've got a liquidity position opened up. So if we go back to tokensets.com now, we have the option to purchase batch tokens directly from the token sets website using the sushi swap decks in the background. Let's preview that trade. We're getting a lot of slippage obviously, we're only buying 20 cents worth and there's 10 cents worth of slippage, so not ideal. It's also saying the set is trading at a 50% premium on Uniswap. I wonder if that means sushi swap or there's some kind of arbitrage going on there. Probably it means sushi swap. We've purchased this set from the token sets website. So now that this set is all created and we've got our own token, let's have a look at how we can manage it. So we can trade tokens within our set and this is quite useful if we're rebalancing or if you're trying to add value by being an active manager and finding new tokens and creating value that way for people that are investing in your fund, then you can do that and switch tokens in and out as you see fit. Another thing that's worth mentioning about token sets is the leverage tokens. These are available on the Ethereum network and you can see the ETH2X Flexible Leverage Index is one of the most popular uh, token sets available. It's actually got 229 million US dollars invested in it currently. If we order these by market cap, we can see that the Metaverse Index had a nice run up recently, the DeFi Pulse Index is up there as well. And all of these are performing exceptionally well because they're in the middle of a bull market. So that's token sets on the set protocol. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create your own DeFi index funds. Check out the blog post linked to in the description for more information. Subscribe to the channel for updates. Thank you for watching.